in this video we're going to see how to model a toothpast seam. So first of all I'm going to start with a curve, so I'm going to type circle in here, circle, I'm going to go on activate grid snap and from the front view I'm going to get something like that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, curve, I'm going to control C to copy and control V to paste and I'm going to move it a little bit and I'm going to scale it. Okay, something like that's going to be nice. Okay, I have two different ways to do that. One of those is I can grab both curves and from creation I can go for loft and create the geometry between. Let me display it in shaded mode and create this geometry between and for sure in here I can increase the number of segments in there so for instance I can go for 18 maybe it's gonna be nice yeah quite a quite a good result okay that's one of the um, of the ways the other way should be if I cancel that imagine that I don't want the curving here so what I can do is I can come to creation and I can go for from curve Okay, in here I can just set the number of uh, segments that I want in here, so maybe instead of 18 I can go uh, for 22 or something like that. It's gonna be nice. And from here just click on OK. And I can do exactly the same, so using this loop of edges in here to just move it, depending on the height that I want, and now scaling the end part. Okay, the result is gonna be much much uh, similar. So it doesn't matter which is the way that you choose, both are uh, nice. So now I'm going to get rid of the curve, so click on the curve and delete. Right now what I'm going to do is uh, cap this end part in here, so I'm going to grab all the edges in there, but the uh, ones on the corners, so I'm going to hold control and deselect those ones, hold control and deselect those ones. And now I'm going to bridge that to create all the geometry between. So addition and bridge that. Okay, so I'm going to create something like that. I just have to click on OK to validate the result. Right now I can do two different things to avoid a triangle in here. For sure it doesn't matter if I have, I have one triangle in there, but I can avoid that. Uh, what I recommend is going for addition and dividing and creating an on loop of edges here on the middle and then just weld these vertex so going to vertex mode addition weld clicking one of the vertex right click second vertex and right click there we go and exactly the same on the other side so repeat the command right click select first vertex validate second vertex validate and there we go all right now we have avoided all the triangles in here and for sure I can just keep deforming this part in here. So let's imagine that what I want to do is just move it a little bit outside so I can still do something like that. Okay, it seems that this is what we're looking for. Let's first of all add one new slice in here. So I'm going to go for addition and divide. And now I'm going to make a division right there. I'm going to grab all the loop of edges, so double click on the loop of edges and scale that a little bit because this is a toothpaste and I don't want it to be just all uh, like conical shape. I just prefer something like that and going a little bit shrinked in here and then going bigger and more uh, stretched there. Okay, something like that's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like this is uh, bended a little bit. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all these uh, parts in here. Let me check in smooth if that's the result I'm looking for. Yeah, it's quite good. So maybe what I'm going to do is from the right view, I'm going to display it in shaded mode. I'm going to grab all these faces and I'm going to extrude that to make this part in here. So first of all, I'm going to rotate that a little bit, something like this. It's going to be nice. And I'm going to extrude that just holding Alt on my keyboard and dragging it a little bit okay so now i have got his active so i can click e to change the gamble mode or coming here now i'm just changing the gamble mode with w e and r a little bit now holding alt again holding alt again sorry now holding alt again 
to extrude and rotating a little bit the result moving rotating a little bit okay so something like this is the result that we are getting in there right so we can keep doing something like this so maybe one more extrusion would be nice something like this perfect and now we can just refine this loop of edges so maybe scaling them a little bit maybe rotating this one a little bit also something like that okay and that's the result that we are getting from the perspective view okay if we disp display it in rendered mode that's more or less the result that we are getting for sure in here we can refine the shape in case that we don't want it to go just from uh, one part so what we can do is we can just double click to select the entire loop of edges and make it a little bit more outside so it just blends with all the geometry okay for sure we don't have to make it symmetrical so if we want to add some imperfections or some details on one side that we don't want on the other one it's gonna be nice okay so we can just control the thickness and everything from here so for instance grabbing those faces in there and just moving it to the bottom right so just playing a little bit with uh, with those edges in this side okay perfect let's say that this is what we are looking for that's the result when smoothing this uh, toothpaste and in red mode it looks quite good okay perfect let's keep going with the with the other part so again shaded mode now going for edges and double clicking on this edge now i'm gonna hold alt and drag it a little bit so if i display it in basic view that's gonna be the result it's much easier if we do that in basic view so we can just see exactly what's the distance that we are moving this part so again holding alt and dragging it all right now i'm gonna scale that something like this and refine the position maybe a little bit smaller let's make sure that we are using the 3d gamble so the white dot in there and right now again i can use the 2d gamble in here holding alt to create another extrusion and like that again with w i can move it a little bit okay that's the shape that i'm getting right now it's not bad at all what can I do from here? What I can do is I can go for the, the cap part in here. So uh, what I'm going to do, just double click again, holding Alt one more time and moving it outside, depending on how big we want this part. For sure, if we want it smaller, just grab all those. Uh, sorry, let's go for all those faces and scale it a little bit and we can make it much smaller or much bigger depending on what we want and here on the end part again holding alt and using the 2d gamble something like this depending on the thickness that we want and from w again holding alt and dragging it something like this it's what we're looking for now we want to cap this uh this part in here so we're gonna make some tooth uh base to go outside from there so we don't have to shell it or anything so just addition and we're gonna fill that and there we go we have it perfectly capped okay now i'm going to create the external part from here but uh first of all what i'm going to do is well i'm going to do first the external part and then i'm going to play with this inside part so i'm going to go for edition and i'm going to extract the surface that i've selected right there so just to make sure that when i smooth that this is the geometry that i'm taking okay and it's going to fit perfectly so extract copy no or yes i'm going to say copy yes so now I have two different pieces and now I'm going to select the entire object in there, going for layers, creating a new layer and changing the object to this layer. And right now I can hide a layer I, and I only have this part in here. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with this part. First of all, just grabbing by edges, double clicking on the edge with W, make sure that the gamble mode is active. So the the move gamble holding alt a little bit and dragging and now i'm gonna cap this part so again addition and cap and from here i'm gonna grab the face so grabbing the face and going for an insertion 
so addition and insert and in here I can just define the size that I want so something like that's gonna be nice click OK I'm gonna select this face shift and double click on the close one and now I'm gonna hold alt and drag the gamble to create the extrusion okay so if I use tabulation or clicking here that's the result that I'm getting for sure in here it's gonna be much better this is so smooth so if in here I add another insertion the result is gonna be much much better when smoothing something like that and also I recommend to select all these face in here remember just click one face holding shift and double clicking the next one and we can also inset this part in here so we can create these two edges just make sure that they are not crossing each other if we put a big number so just a small one it's gonna be nice so when we smooth this part it's gonna look quite 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 good okay right now what I'm gonna do is selecting by edges and I'm getting rid of this loop of edges and right now I'm gonna select this uh, this uh, well first of all let me just double click in here and make a small extrusion in there okay uh, I think it's gonna look nicer without it so I'm gonna do that so selecting by faces one face shift and double click on the next one and I'm gonna extrude that so I'm gonna come here and extrude in this case I don't want to extrude by group I want to extrude by local normals okay local normals is gonna extrude all of them at the same time so maybe even individual it's gonna look much better so if I go for individual I'm gonna get one per uh, per face so something like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce a little bit the taper value so now if I smooth that that's gonna be the result but no problem we're gonna add a division there so maybe even a little bit smaller something like that's gonna be nice and just click on OK to validate right now what I want is I don't want this to be smooth like that so I I have to add one division in here so addition divide and I'm gonna put a division right there and also on the bottom part so again divide and I'm gonna put a division in there when we are dividing make sure that we are not in vertex selection mode so if we are in vertex selection mode it's gonna allow us to divide vertex by vertex okay if we are in any other selection mode without any per selection I'll have this red this green line sorry okay so if I smooth that that's gonna be the result right now that it's much much better okay so right now what I have to do what I want to do is I want to grab this uh, this edge in here I'm gonna go for selection select naked edges okay and in here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a small extrusion outside going for a scale gamble a small extrusion inside again move gamble extrusion outside scale gamble extrusion inside and fill there we go and now if I want this shape to look nice the same as we did on the other part selecting all these faces in here addition and insert and clicking OK to validate and that's a really really good result for the cap okay if I just display the other part something like this okay perfect right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this object in here and I don't want it right there so I'm gonna just move it and rotate it a little bit like if it's another piece of the scene and in here I'm gonna do exactly the same so clicking one face and double clicking the next one and going for another insert one more time to create in here a nicer face and here another inset to create this inner face perfect there we go so that's the result that we're looking for for sure if we want in here this part not to be that smooth what we can do is just easily we can add one division dividing here and repeat the tool and another one in here so when we smooth that that's going to be more creased and also it's going to be this part in here okay perfect maybe the the gap was a little bit small so i grab this external part and i make it outside but then i create some inside part so we can scale it a little bit something like that it looks nice so i'm gonna move it a little bit more outside so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna draw a curve so i'm gonna go from the right view and i'm gonna draw a curve 
So remember that if we have hotkeys active, we ha just have to move our cursor outside. Okay, just to draw uh, in the command line. So in here, I'm gonna go for a curve. And I'm gonna draw a curve, I'm gonna deactivate grid snap. And I'm gonna draw it from here. It's gonna go like that. Something like this, it's gonna be nice. From here, I just have to go for edit points. So edit points on, perfect. And I can refine the shape in here. So for instance, I can grab some of the vertex and just move them a little bit. Okay, in case that I want to keep more or less the shape but creating something a little bit more like organic. Okay, something like that's gonna be nice something like this okay and right now i'm gonna grab this curve and i'm gonna pipe that so go for creation and using the pipe tool from here i can refine the uh the starting radius so maybe something like this it looks like it's coming from the inside part maybe moving the starting point like that and refining the outer part so something like that Okay, and in from here I can just increase the number of segments in case I want to follow a little bit better the curve, but something like that's gonna be fine. Okay, maybe smaller. Fine, so in here I'm gonna just click OK to create the geometry. Now I can grab the curve and just delete it. And I will refine a little bit the shape on the, uh, on the last part, so going like that just making it look a little bit more um, more realistic something like that okay perfect so it really looks like it's the the tooth busting here <laughs> so uh, that's it that's how we create um, a scene with a toothbrush and the cap in here if we display in render mode the result is quite 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 good so uh, we just look at the detail of the cap the result it was amazing the tooth was nice so that's it that's how we model the tooth post with the cap and the post so i hope that you liked it and thanks so much for watching